Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Never Forgotten Project from Robert Wright. Uh, okay, so this was a project that Robert Wright took on himself. It's not a Kickstarter, uh, it's something that he completely funded. Uh, these cards, the Never Forgotten deck, was revealed just this year, 2015, at the 52 plus uh, Joker convention in Orlando, Florida. This project did consist of two items, it was the deck of cards and there was also a matching coin. It was very beautiful, very intricate, uh, just like the deck itself. These cards were printed by the Expert Playing Card Company and only 2,000 decks were made. And they were illustrated by Randy Butterfield and they were produced by Bill Kalush. All right, so the theme surrounding the Never Forgotten Project that Robert put together is, um, it's a way to pay tribute to those who have passed away from cancer. Um, originally, uh, this was a tribute to Robert's mother. Her name was Shelby Wright. Um, you have the blue sapphire on the tuck case. You have the backs, the spades and club suits. Those are all um, Robert's mother's birthstone and you can see right there in the tuck flap it says for mom now every part of this deck has been um, touched uh, with these little kind of remembrances these little kind of nods um, to um, just various types of cancer um, there's really cool symbolism of uh, the cancer ribbon becoming a butterfly there's the lavender ribbon that's on the tuck case that a lot of people have already associated with um, their support for those who are struggling with cancer. Uh, and you're gonna see those different color ribbons represented in the court cards throughout the deck. Then there's also the plum color that um, honors all the caregivers, and those are represented by the angels. So again, the tuck case is done in this plum color and the blue sapphire, and it goes all throughout uh, the deck, completely wrapped around. It's really beautiful, and you can see that in uh, foil. It says never forgotten across the top, and has the cancer ribbon right there. And then it's just this really elegant um, scroll work that wraps the tuck case. On the back side of the tuck case, there's a little tribute to those who have passed, and at the bottom it says never forgotten. And on the bottom, there's some ad copy that says that they were printed from the expert playing card company. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Back design of the cards is pretty much just like the tuck case. It is the lavender ribbon against a blue sapphire background with a lot of uh, beautiful scrolling uh, there behind it. Uh, you do have a normal thick sized uh, border, which is nice, I think. And uh, it's just a very elegant, very clean design. So one of the cool things you get with this deck are these uh, diptych joker cards. Um, it's not really so much cards that you play with, but they're really descriptive. Um, in the writing at the bottom, the colors that are represented through the ribbons also um, symbolize the different forms of cancer. And you can look through uh, those court card listings there and you can see uh, the different types of cancer listed. So each court, each individual court represents a certain affliction. All of your court cards are completely standard, however they have been recolored to match the colors that support the various types of cancer that are listed on the diptych. The pips and indice cards are all uh, standard as far as the layout goes. Um, they do have nice kind of thicker, chunkier um, pips and then the cancel ribbon is also seen kind of um, as a watermark in the middle of all the pips as well. Just as far as the deck goes, these cards uh, feel and handle like a dream. Uh, this is probably one of experts' um, best stock and cuts. I uh, really love this deck. Uh, when I first got it out, I was able to do uh, a weave shuffle right out of the box. Uh, the cards interlace, they're really strong, they're very sturdy. Um, it's a really awesome deck of cards. All right, so that is my review for the Never Forgotten Project deck. I wanna thank Robert Wright for uh, offering up one of these decks so that we can review it for you. If you'd like to learn more about this project or purchase a deck yourself, these would make a great gift um, for your family or for friends of yours. Uh, you can visit neverforgotten.storeenvy.com. All right, so that is my review for the Never Forgotten Project deck. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks.